Well, I'm doing this. I guess I can, you know, reflect on Ramadan with you guys real quick. Because I think I said this in an earlier clip. But we are the second to last day. And last day of April, actually. And honestly, best Ramadan I have ever had thus far. Ugh. It looks so much like peanut butter. I do not. It doesn't smell like it, but it do to me. But like I was saying, Ramadan 2022 has been amazing. One, because I've been able to get all of my reading done every single day because I have someone reading with me. I have been able to do, if not all of my prayers, at least three, which was something I never did before. I feel ashamed because I spend a lot of my time at home anyway. I don't understand why I was not able to get all of them done, but hey. I got them, for the most part, done this Ramadan, which I'm so, so, so proud of myself for doing. Um, and really, kind of that revelation, me realizing that, I know you stay at home all the time. Why are you not doing all your prayers? That kind of was a game-changing thing for me for this Ramadan. Um, and not only just that, what else? Man, time flew by so fast. Um... Yeah, this is way too much. That's definitely probably too much. Dang, what was I saying? Reflecting on Ramadan. Um, oh, I also am not or was not like employed this year. So in previous years, I was, you know, at home with family. Um, last year, I was I was in this apartment, but I was working. So that was consuming a lot of my time during Ramadan so I would like work from sun up from sundown anyway so it was as if I was just working the day away I didn't really do my prayers which was terrible but hey you know I was young I still am young but my first year in the apartment just trying to get stuff done but last year I had to you know communicate with people outside of myself um during Ramadan and again I was working but this year I was pretty much a free spirit able to do what it is that I desired to do I did work, of course, but the first two weeks, I literally didn't do anything but, like, pray, do puzzles, um, watch lectures. I watched a lot of the Closing the Gap podcast, if you guys are familiar with that. That is a very good podcast. Uh, Members of the Nation of Islam. I believe they're out of Atlanta. Um, they together. Great information. Um, I feel like I'm taking too much time to do this. Oh, well. I'm not really a peanut butter and jelly sandwich person, so I have no idea what I'm doing. But I think that's enough. But yeah, that's what I watched. Lectures of the album Mr. Sparacon. Like every day. I made a vow to watch them every single day. Even though I haven't I didn't watch like full lectures every day, but I listened to something, I believe, almost every day during Ramadan, which I am very proud of myself for. And I just learned so much. Man. Listening to the minister, listening to these lectures just made me realize how little I do know. And but but again, but at the same time, listening to all this stuff made me realize that, you know, what being alive at this moment in time really means, what all that entails as far as me and my place and the Alma Miss Louis Farrakhan's position and the, the, the most Alma Elijah Muhammad and Master Fada Muhammad and just understanding all of them and their roles and just their sacrifices. It's just, ugh. I just gained a, a brand new, beautiful understanding of everything. This Ramadan. Okay, that's terrible. Terrible. I'm gonna clean it up before I put it in there, but Y'all, I don't <laughs> I don't make sandwiches. My poor babies, they're gonna be like, Mama, what is this? What is this sandwich? This is ugly. But they aren't gonna they're not gonna they gonna love it. They're gonna love whatever mama put on my plate. But yeah, Ramadan was beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I did get sick. So that was my trial. I don't know. I feel like a lot of people went through stuff during Ramadan. Um, I don't know what it is, what it was for you. But if you participated in Ramadan, you probably went through something. For me, I got some kind of illness out of nowhere. Um, I just had a bunch of mucus. I couldn't really breathe too well for at least 10 days. Um, taste buds was out of whack. 
couldn't food wasn't tasting right so i had bean soup and fruit for an entire week which i was fine with because bean soup is good and um it was wasn't doing anything but adding nutrition to my body i i started to i actually began liking tea because that was kind of the only thing i was able to taste while i was you know down bad a few days ago however long ago that was so anora likes tea now Medicine ball from Starbucks is very good if you are a Starbucks person. I'm not really a Starbucks person, but I really needed something hot while I was out one day, and I tried that because someone recommended it. Pretty good. So, yeah, Nora likes tea now, but I, I forgot where I was at first. Dang. But, nonetheless, Ramadan was absolutely amazing. I am grateful that I got to participate. I am grateful that I'm grateful for the lessons. I'm grateful for um, oh, one the main thing I forgot that I came into this Ramadan, like the new body of information, kind of sort of not really, but it was like the confirmation of what it is that I'm supposed to be doing with my life and with my time. Um, and I got this like seven days after Ramadan. Like my first week was absolutely amazing, absolutely beautiful because that's when I was like, I was like focused on you know recreating my discipline and waking up on time not going on my phone, um, designating times away from my phone, designating time to read, listen to lectures, watch, I mean, do puzzles. And that was kind of like a revolutionary moment for me. But during that time is when I came to this resolution, this this resolution of, my, of myself and what it is I'm supposed to be doing that really, you know, we are put on this earth to serve other people and I'm literally meant to serve other people. And um <laughs> and um that's exactly what Allah wants me to do. He wants me to serve. Um and I have to keep that mindset in mind at all times. Even though I forget sometimes, because you know, I'm a human. Life happens and you kind of lose sight of things, but at the end of the day, I'm put on this earth to serve. And that's what I should be found doing. And that's kind of what I really realized that first week of Ramadan. And it's something I'm striving to live up to, you know. So I'm excited for the next few weeks, the next few days. As far as with these vlogs, as far as with business, as far as with servicing, serving you guys better. I'm excited. So, yeah. I think that's all I'm going to say. Me and Nayeli, or Nayeti, might be going live. Which is my partner who I go live with on the pot. Me and Naya go live sometimes on Instagram. Um, and we started the podcast. I don't know if we started the podcast by the time y'all see this. But um, nonetheless, we go live on Thursday sometimes at 7 o'clock, 7% of the time. <laughs> and we probably going to talk about Ramadan in the next one. So stay tuned for that. But thank you guys for listening. Um, I don't know what else we're going to record. But I'm going to finish these sandwiches and I might do a time lapse of that. So enjoy this time lapse of me making these sunflower seed and jelly sandwiches.